guys, it's the DJ, and I have to relate to you just an experience that I just had uh, with a client because I think uh, it's something that we all could learn from. I was talking to a guy, and uh, we were in the process of, of seeing whether or not it would be a good uh, fit for them in regards to uh, they were a, a buyer for businesses. And so I asked the question that I always ask, are you the guy that writes the checks uh, or so I can find out the you know amount of money you guys are looking to, to spend on something like this? And the guy said to me, you know, that's a little insulting, that question. First of all, the, the thought that that could possibly be insulting didn't even cross my mind. How was it insulting? Are you the person who writes the checks? Are you the person that I need to be speaking with who can say yes or no to this and, and stroke some money for it? Uh, and by his response, I immediately knew that he wasn't. <laughs> you know, I'm talking to the wrong guy. So I want to tell you, it's, you know how much time this, this will save literally a month of work. Because I know at the end, if something goes on, this guy can't make the decision. Why would I putz around with him? And I just asked an innocuous question. So he may or may not have been insulted, but the person who can write the checks, the person who really is the decision maker, who can say yes or no to your product, that person would never get insulted. Remember to ask the question. You need three things uh, to find out whether or not you have a, a qualified, well, I, let me do it this way. You have three things that you need to find out before you disqualify a prospect. One, you need to find out if they have a want or a need. If they don't need it, there's no need in talking. Or if they don't want it, there's no need in talking. Second, you need to find if they have the money. Do they have the money to buy the product that you're selling? And third, can they make the decision to stroke the check? If any one of those are not them, you need to get that solidified before you move on. If not, disqualify and move on to next. It's a time saver and it's a career saver. So you don't uh, just uh, have tons of, of fake leads that you're going to pretend like you're working on when really they'll never amount to anything. Get the right people, qualify. Don't worry about insulting people. You won't insult the right people. Talk to you later. Oh, by the way, would you guys please subscribe to my YouTube channel for crying out loudly? I got to get at least 500. Hook me up. Talk to you soon.